Hello and welcome to the video lecture on uh, file organizations. Um, so at this point, now you should have a decent understanding of uh, how data is stored on disk um, as far as uh, physical files. Uh, now we're going to talk about how those files are organized. Um, so this is a, these are uh, essentially three techniques. You see them at the bottom, types of file organizations, uh, sequential, indexed, and hashed, which I'm going to uh, elaborate on in subsequent lecture, video lectures. Um, but we have, uh, we have different choices on how, and, and this is not an exhaustive list, um, but it'll work for us. It'll, it, it'll suffice for our, uh, this lecture. So, um, why would we choose one over the other? Uh, essentially, it all started out with sequential. Um, you know, where where you just you just load your data onto disk as the data gets entered, um, and that's probably the easiest to understand. Uh, but uh, what happened is that designers of databases uh, realized that there had to be a faster way of doing that. So uh, there are factors associated with selecting the file organization. Um, it's really speed, right? Uh, it, it's, it's speed in retrieval of the data and getting it to the user. Um, it's the u efficient use of space, right? So it's speed, efficiency, um, protection from failure and data loss, uh, which is uh, a, a huge concern, right? So a, a database isn't any good to anyone uh, if it loses its own data. Um, it minimize, uh, we want to minimize the need for reorganization because every time we have to reorganize or rebuild uh, the database, I, I referred to, uh, referred to it in other lectures as like defragging your hard drive. Um, you, from time to time in Oracle, you need to reorganize your tables because they have become fragmented on disk uh, or they have, um, you, know, uh, you know, empty spaces and whatnot. Um, so if you set up your uh, file organization properly, it should minimize the need for reorganization and that depends on the type of activity that happens with your uh, data. So for instance, if you, have, if you have data that's static, right, and it's not changing, you never have to worry about reorganization, do you? Because it, it's never going to be affected by updates. Um, whereas uh, your student data list uh, can change dramatically from time to time. Um, so it may need to be reorganized. Uh, you may need to accommodate growth, right? Uh, again, read-only tables, your lookup tables, aren't gonna grow that much, uh, but your student table certainly is. Um, and there can be an effect on security of, depending on the different file organizations that you have set up. Um, so, there are three different types, sequential, index, and hashed, uh, and I am going to uh, speak about them separately in their own video lectures, but that is an overview of file organizations and why on earth are there different uh, ways of organizing files.